Good morning. How are you today? So we got very hot frost last night. I think the temperature go down to uh, one to one degree or minus one or minus two. I'm not sure, but we got very hot frost when I look into the garden today. So I thought I will show you what uh, a very quick tour today about what kind of citrus I got and how I can and grow them. And I will I might show you some of the plants uh, or in the pots or in the ground uh, because when I plant next to the citrus. Um, I live in um, a townhouse complex uh, so I don't have much of room so a lot of plants I grow in pots so uh, I will show you that a lot of pots and things today. Then um, yes let me turn the camera around and show you what I got. So if you guys watch my garden tour part two you can recognize this tree in this spot. This is Blood orange color cara. It's a it called blood orange, but it inside it quite pinky orange color, and it got a lot of fruit on. This is two years old fruit. Uh, two two years old trees. I got so much of drama from these trees, and they love absolutely so a lot of drainage. Before I plant them in several spots, I keep moving them, move, keep moving moving it because it wasn't happy. But absolutely happy in this spot now because you can see I got very high rage bed here. So let's swing by this side. I got the grapevine there. I planted it a year ago. It gave us uh, quite a few bunch of food and it's very nice to test some um, homegrown grapes. It's very fresh. And this is my cherries that's my dear father, you know, he built for me. Thank you again, Dad. So for me, I think to go success citrus in temple climate, like in Kempo, Australia, is they love sun, they love drainage, and if you have some spot in your yard that like under the eaves, like I have, or next to the brick wall, or next to the fence, it can cover some wind for them. They could be more benefit than that. And if you don't have any of those, you can certainly can create like uh, put some protection for for the trees when they are young. But when they get older, after two or three years, you don't need to cover them. So for me, that's the key. And of course, you have to water regularly and fertilize regularly. So here, I got a little rice garden bed in front of my. Uh, fun door, I could say, and I come along over there. And this, this is quite rice, I can say rice bed, and the citrus loves a uh, very good drainage. So let's see the first one, or the second one. So this is the sesame mandarin. I heard so much about this variety, but I haven't had a chance to try it before. And uh, this tree is only one year old. I bought this last winter and already give me quite a few fruit in here. See lemon grass boots there. And this very great kumquat. And again, it's absolutely loving this spot. I bought it last year as well. But, but when I bought it, it, it was quite a good size already. So I could say maybe this tree maybe two years old. But they have so much food. I just love the very grated leaves. Yeah. And come over here. I got a lot of pot plants in here. Okay, here this is the pamino trees. It's only one year old or over one year old. And they got some food as well. Uh, this tree, I feel a little bit guilty because it, I let it fruit. But they say that the citrus, they, they drop the fruit off if they can't handle. So I let the tree's fruit on to see how it go. But I do feel guilty about this. And this is another sesame mandarin. This one was smaller than the other one that got food. So this one they took a lot of uh, all the food off. And so this two I just try to focus about my citrus, what type of citrus I got. So I 
won't talk much to the other plants. I got some pot, more pot in there, some pie tree, and more whipping pie. And set it my front door. Okay, so this is my blood orange. This is really true blood orange. Uh, what is this called? I got the test in here. Taroko. And it's work quite big and tall. Not quite big and tall, but it's very tall, is it? And they cut the brand it off. I trim it off. So now the side suit coming out. You can see that? And this variety, they need cold weather in order for the food to get very dark red color. And because the tree is still quite small and it doesn't have food yet, so that's why I put it under the eave. But I think in the future, if they having food, I will might bring them, bring the tree outside, and they got more cold and more frost, and that will make the food get sweeter. And if you, if you guys have a spot, I mean, in the ground, um, uh, it could be best to plant them in the ground, but I don't have much room in the ground, so I just, I want to plant them in pots if possible. And here, this one, I thought it was finger lamb, but it was not finger lamb. I will find a task for you. But well, uh, this one only a year, over a year ago, this winter, maybe two winter. So, so I could say nearly two years old, and so much of food. Can you see that? So many food. And again, it in the pot, and absolutely loving the the spot for this. And on this area, they got full morning sun until maybe two or three o'clock. And after that, they can be in the summer. It can be shy in the afternoon. And my friends, he dropped me some pots in here. This big pot is very big. They are 100 liters, so I'm so excited I can put some more food trees here. Thank you so much, Jen. And come along this way, I got more pot and more pie tree. I'm sorry for my shadow. And it's another black, uh, black orange, Taroka. And this one doing very well too. And two tangianos. I got some food of this tree as well. I keep some in here and I want to try the food. So on this citrus tree, tree of this tree, they got all morning suns and now this time maybe two o'clock now. And it's starting shade in the afternoon. So in the summer, it would have a morning sun as well and shade afternoon. And when I plant a tree in pots like this, I normally use just the medium potting mix, but you guys can buy um, special mix for citrus. And I don't use mulch. I do you know what kind of mold or what kind of top dressing I use. I use mushroom compost. And I know a lot of you guys say that mushroom compost is not ideally for citrus. Uh, but I only use the uh, top dressings. And um, on top of that, I use um, fertilizer, especially for citrus. The Osmos Coast brand. I can try to put the brand name on the screen. For you, if you guys interested, I want to know. And citrus, in pots like this, of course you have to water the, the more regular than in the ground. And again, if I got the spot in the ground, I would rather to put them in the ground. And in, um, in the summer, in the hot day, I have to water them every day. But in the winter like this, I water them every three or four days. And I got all the water system for them there. See all the chopping. Oh, one thing I want to show you is it. Sorry, it's a little bit sideways. Can you see? My flower, they are still blooming. I'm so loving this spot. 
and this daisy as well. Oh, uh, what chrysanthemums? We looking so lush and green. In considering we've got three, nine of the fours, and I'm I'm so surprised about this row as well. Three nine of fours, and it seem doesn't my have a fox so cold night at all and this flower is still hanging on this one it got 75 petals and because the bloom it doesn't bloom at one time so you got one bloom after that another bloom and more bloom so when the cluster like this it bloom for you well two months i very highly recommend this so this is leonardo vinci's Okay, so let's swing into my backyard and I show you some of my seeds at the back. So I'm standing at my backyard at the moment. I got some seeds at the uh, at the back here. I want to show you that the lemon tree. It's very tiny. We bought it before we moved the house uh, oh three years ago, and after that it. Be, been snapped off so only one stick left and low leaves and it's a size is sure like um chopstick and i wasn't a gardener or a very very ambitious gardener that time i just like grow a lot of fruit trees and citrus um, and vegetables but anyway i just put this stick in here and it done so well and last year i got some fruit and this year I got quite a bit. Let me show you. This is lemon mire. Can't you see that? The tree is not big at all. I think maybe 60 centimeter high. Sorry, it's just so bright, but you can see so much fruit. And oh, uh, in the garden bed, I see I use a lot of compost again, mushroom compost, and my compost from the garden, like from the kitchen scrap and all the things in the compost bin. And of course I use uh, the pellets, Osmos Coast pellets, um, to have the, the trees happier. And please don't fertilize them, the citrus in the winter, because if fertilizer now, so that means they can send a, a lot of new growth and the leaves, they can get burned, the new growth will get burned by the frost. Can you see that? It's just so happy. And uh, I did cover them. So two years in this ground, I did cover them in the winter with my old curtain. But this winter, I haven't covered them uh, for this tree at all. And so does this mandarin, this emperor mandarin. Can you see that? Only two years old. It's so happy and so much food. This is the first year it got food, and I can count hundreds of food on on it. Can you see that? Only one my hand is so much food like this, and more food. And again, it got a lot of compost for my compost bin, and re regular water in the summer. In the winter, like this, they, uh, it's still um, the citrus still got water every, every four days. I'm so happy with that. And again, this tree been covered for two seasons of the winter as well with my old curtains. And let's swing by this one. I will do a garden tour, a backyard garden tour for you uh, another time. I just want to show you some of citrus. Do you remember this bed is the sweet potato bed? I think I'm going to plant garlic in here. I have planted my garlic in here yet. So this tree, uh, someone gifted to me. Thank you so much if you are watching this video. I'm sorry I forgot your name. Certainly I can't remember. And it got some flower. I don't think the flower will stay though because the fox might eat the flower. So this one is ruby grapefruit. I haven't try the ruby grapefruits before so I'm so excited to have my own tree now and it looks so happy it was so quite big and when she gives to us and she pulled very hard for us and look at now it 
coming back so nicely. So we went to duck it out um, in um, early this spring. So thank you so much again. And I got more compost bin. And over here, my very happy lamb. And this lamb trees, I have uh, never covered it for the winter at all. And, can, and this is the first year it got food as well. Can you see the food? I'm just so happy. And again, it got regular waters and a lot of uh, fertilizer and compost from the compost bin. Can you be, believe it got nine compost bins? A lot of compost bin. So in my area, I don't have much problem with pests and diseases. Sometimes I do see them, they be nipple by, I think, uh, caterpillars or butterfly caterpillars. But I just leave them alone. And um, maybe some of you I might have uh, what leaf curls, leaf curls or um, what citrus minor. I think you can just buy some spray from the garden center or you can mix with your own um, home grow mix. You can see I got a lot of blueberry here. I think I've been talking about that in my garden tour. And that is, I think. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and walking around in the garden with me. And if you have any comment or questions, please let me know. And thank you. See you next one. Bye-bye.